Now, the first thing to notice is that this is a binomial process. We can use the acronym BINS to check the conditions of this. First, it's binary. There's only two outcomes. The balloons will either pop or not. Second, in the stem of the problem, it says each balloon's failure is independent. Third, there's a fixed number of trials. We're checking all 12 balloons in the 12 pack. And finally, the probability of success is fixed at 0.75. If the probability of the balloons popping is 0.25, the probability that they do not pop is 0.75 for every balloon. Because each balloon is independent of the others and the probability of a single balloon popping is 0.75, we can just multiply the probability of the balloon not popping, 0.75, by itself 12 times. So 0.75 to the 12th power. This is just using the multiplication rule for independent events. That tells us the probability of the first 12 balloons not popping is approximately 0.03168. Since this follows a binomial setting, you can also use your calculator for this probability. Press second and then vars, and scroll down towards the bottom. Here's our binomial options. Choose binome PDF. So since we had 12 balloons, we have 12 trials. The probability of the balloon not popping is 0.75. We're interested in all 12 not popping. We can see this matches the probability we already found by hand. You can also calculate this using binome CDF, the cumulative density function. Press second and vars again, and go to binome CDF. Now we still have 12 trials, and our probability of success is 0.75. But right here, we're going to put 11. Now what this probability represents is exactly 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or 11 balloons inflating correctly. So it actually represents everything we're not trying to calculate. It's the complement. If we do 1 minus what we just got, there's our probability again. No, the student shouldn't return the rest of the packs. If the new brand of balloons pop as frequently as the original brand, which was 25% of the time, the probability of having 12 balloons inflate without popping is only about 0.03168. Since this probability is low, it seems more likely that the new brand of balloons is simply more reliable. Since each balloon's failure is independent of all the other balloons, it doesn't really matter that none of the previous 12 balloons have popped the probability that the 13th balloon pops is 0.25. So the probability our first pop occurs on the 13th balloon, given there was no pops in the previous 12, is 0.25. Now for our first pop to occur on the 15th balloon, given the previous 12 did not pop, we have to have no pop on the 13th balloon, no pop on the 14th balloon, and then a pop on the 15th balloon. So since they're independent events, we can multiply 0.75 times 0.75 times 0.25, and we get 0 0.140625. So event A is nearly twice as likely to happen. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.